His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree Law 7 for this year, amending Article 28 of Decree Law 15 of 2002 regarding the Shura and Representatives Councils based on a proposal by the Prime Minister and following the Cabinet's approval. The text of Article 28 of Decree Law 15 of 2002 shall be replaced by the following text. The membership of a member of the Council of Representatives shall be revoked if the member loses the confidence or respect of the Council or fails to fulfil his duties of membership. The decision to revoke membership must be issued by a two-thirds majority vote of the members of the Council. The vote shall be conducted by calling on the members in their names. Membership shall be invalidated if it is found that the member lacked one of the required conditions upon the election or during their membership in the Council. Official bodies may at any time request the Court of Cassation to rule on the invalidation of a member's membership in those cases. The Court's ruling to invalidate membership shall result in the annulment of one's membership from the date of its issuance. The Court's ruling shall have no effect on the work performed by the member within the Council in the previous period or the rights they have obtained. Any text that conflicts with the provisions of this law shall be repealed. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the Royal Ascot in the United Kingdom. He was accompanied by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Education Charitable Trust, Chairman of the Board of Directors of Tamkeen, Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's achievements in equestrian sports, which are thanks to the ongoing support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser following the victorious racing team Pledge of Allegiance at the Ascot Stakes race and praised the team's fierce competitiveness during that race. He exerted his congratulations to the winners of the horse racing rounds, wishing the Bahraini participants success in their races. And and for his part, His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted that the success achieved by the victorious racing team is due to His Majesty the King's unwavering support and the follow-up of His Royal Highness. He added that His Royal Highness attendance at the Royal Ascot has also provided great motivation for the team's spirit and achievements. He highlighted the importance of the Royal Ascot as a prestigious global horse racing event that magnifies Bahrain's achievements in the equestrian sport. <coughs> The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna al rumayhi affirmed the implementation of a series of future housing projects in partnership with the private sector that will provide innovative and comprehensive housing solutions. She said that bids have been offered to implement additional projects in al buhair and Hurat Senate, in addition to a plan to offer dozens of similar projects in all governorates in the coming period. She added that these efforts come within the frame framework of the Government uh, Lands Right program, which is one of the main paths launched by the Ministry to accelerate the pace of residential units. The program is based on offering lands owned by the Ministry to real estate development companies through the bidding system with the aim of building housing projects with specific standards that are offered exclusively to citizens benefiting from financing services at prices not exceeding 99,000 Bahraini dinars. Recent global statistics revealed that the Kingdom of Bahrain was the lowest among the Arab Gulf countries in terms of water consumption per capita in 2023. We have more details in this report. The continued successes of the Kingdom of Bahrain's initiatives to develop a comprehensive national water strategy resulted in successes that were highlighted in international reports. 
Recent global statistics reveal that Bahrain is lowest among Gulf countries in terms of water consumption in the past year. This distinction comes as a result of the efforts made to sustain water resources, which were achieved by activating the goals of environmental sustainability and improving the efficiency of the use and rationalization of resources and energy consumption through joint institutional work between all concerned parties in the kingdom. The kingdom was able to expand its capabilities in several areas to preserve water resources through the establishment of the Water Resources Council, expanding the capacity of seawater desalination, establishing mechanisms for assessing the environmental impact of economic projects, encouraging the production and use of renewable energy and investing in them, and implementing a system of internal water extensions, and expanding the use of treated wastewater in the agricultural sector, in addition to launching many information and awareness campaigns and programs on water consumption. The Kingdom of Bahrain also shared its experience with the world through the initiatives and permanent presence in conferences and forums related to environmental protection and natural wealth with the aim of exchanging views and unifying efforts in facing the challenges of water scarcity and ways to achieve its sustainability in order to maintain the economic level and social growth.